Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Pisces. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Pisces. Any place you flip and switch the energy, take what resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Pisces reading. Anything you need to know about me will be down below or in my bio to save you from being scammed. The link to book a reading or to keep up with me on social media. All right. Aquarius got this energy. Passion, lust, anger, attraction, Mars, vitality, action, night of wands, where something was truly about to be shook up in their life. If this reading does not resonate, it's not your story this week. But Pisces, what's the tea? We will clarify every card. Belief systems, facade, wearing a mask, conditioning, expectations, conformity, evaluating, long-held beliefs, Taurus energy, awakening with the higher fit. What else? For Pisces, present, attracting, gratitude, abundance, positivity, tranquility, and success. Focusing on you. Or this is someone saying they have to focus on themselves, get their life together, get their life in order. For Pisces, replacement. Speaking on getting their life in order, Taurus energy, again, loss, wounded, rejection, not feeling enough, missing someone, five of pentacles, left out in the cold, someone pushed you away in order to focus on their life, or you did this. I'm telling you, Aquarius got this energy. It's quite interesting how similar it is. None of these cards came out in this way, but this is the same vibe. So you might want to check out any Aquarius placements you have. Go, go look. But let's focus on y'all read for Pisces. Stability, Capricorn energy, trying to balance, juggling uncertainties, two of pinnacles, stressful choices, and something's over. The world, completely done. Karmic completion, travel, fulfillment, achievement after obstacles and success, reflecting, shadow work. Is this what I want? Is this enough for me? Am I happy here? Finishing what you start or getting away from toxicity, being done with it. Soul growth, clearing and new intentions. Major hitters at the bottom of the deck. Fall is here. It says the past is over, starting over, soul growth, clearing and new intentions. When autumn is coming up in a few weeks, a couple of weeks. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So some of you are closing out a cycle that you've been wanting to close for quite some time. Perhaps you stayed in it due to some kind of need or necessity. Some of you could be living paycheck to paycheck. It's time for you to start your own business here. Yeah, success, attracting, starting your own business with the higher and being an institution. But you could be concerned about how it will show up in the world if it's good enough for you. But let's see. Ace of Wands, yeah, definitely creation. There's the Five of Pentacles again, though. Some of you want more than sex. Did you say something, though? Or some of you are wanting better sex and you're not getting it. So perhaps you're cheating. We got a Gemini at the bottom. I mean, at the on the TV with Maxwell, I can't I can't wait to see what the bottom of the deck is. Since I said that, the will of fortune, spirit was telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. Something shifting. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Taurus again with the Seven of Pentacles. Where would you like to invest your time moving forward? How much time have you invested in a connection or a cycle that needs to be closed out? Is the vibe belief system? For Pisces. Five of Wands. This is a bumping of heads. Leo energy. Not on the same page. Different morals. Different ethics. Different walks of life. Seeing things differently. It's created conflict between two people. Someone could have went to jail as well. And that brought a lot of conflict in someone's life. Or y'all are arguing all the time every time they call you. Or this is them 
with you before you got out. Okay, five of wands. Someone could be projecting over someone's life. You should live it like this. You should do it like this, which is creating conflict. Mm -hmm. Some of you listen to someone like a, a mentor or a teacher or something. It's giving that Kevin Samuels vibe. Someone else's beliefs has brought conflict in your life. Oh, Lord. Mm. Facade. Someone has internal conflict. They're worried about what others will say or think. Interesting. Someone's also going through an awakening. More internal conflict. They're having to take a look at their life. You could have checked them about some things that they're doing inappropriately. What's present attracting for Pisces? The world. Oh, my God. The Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands. The world is here twice. Over with energy. Interesting. Ten of Swords is an ending. Gemini energy. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius with the Wheel of Fortune in the world showing up. Something's definitely over. Queen of Wands, knowing your worth, confidence, or, you know, being attracted to a very uh, extroverted, sexy, fun, free-spirited woman. Okay. Some of you women are same sex. I have two women here. One of you are more fiery. One of you are more mellow and cool, like laid back. Giving me homey vibes like the Queen of Pentacles would. There's a choice between two women here on the table. One of these women have gotten hurt emotionally. There could have been a fight, too, that caused a breakup. But anyways, someone found out about a betrayal of a mistress as well. If it's not a mistress, it's another woman they were sneaking around with. Four swords. They had to let one go. Moon, but they didn't want to. Damn. Oh, Lord, what else is going on here for Pisces? Look at my Capricorn son in the hallway. He wake up telling people what to do. Okay, I've been doing readings all night. Now the sun is up. All right, so the world. What's the world for Pisces? Temperance. Oh, this is over with. And then when it ends, and then it becomes peaceful again, this needed to end for quite some time. Someone could have did magic as well. That's being mellowed out, being brought to some kind of peaceful resolution. Someone wants to heal the connection, reconcile, find middle ground with a particular woman because they're in love with them. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Temperance. Some of you could be Earth Angels. You need to focus on your own path and heal from some kind of traumas from your previous relationships. Yeah. Someone could have hurt you, male or female. Interesting. If I did not say Sagittarius energy, Pisces, Aries, Cups is here too. You could be on the cusp of Aries. Someone wants to do what's best for them. It may be going towards another partner. It may be leaving one behind once they got caught cheating. They can't continue on like that because they wanted to be with the other person anyway. Okay. Someone made a bad decision. They want to fix it. They want to heal it. They're in love. They're attracted. This is one half of a twin flame too. Queen of Wands. And somebody could be doing magic to create an ending or cause a separation between two people. We got Keith Sweat with Who Can Love You Like Me? Nobody. Oh, Lord. Freaky with it. Yeah, it was a third party for a lot of you three cups. Are so they ready to reconcile and celebrate with you? Lost, wounded for Pisces. What is you? The devil, who Lord, and the empress. This devil energy is obsessed with this empress. Demonic energy, succubus, incubus. It say loss, rejection. It's given a karmic partner, not feeling enough, missing someone. Five of Pentacles left out in the car. Whoever got left behind is fucking upset. 
about this empress. This is what they're attracted to. So they're upset. Now, whenever I see the devil and the queen of wands on the same table, plus the ten of swords and the five of wands, somebody doing black magic is unavoidable. Over that empress. If you are, if you someone watching, you're not into spells, just listen to me. Someone's projecting over the love of your life. Complete hostility. Look at these people in these bushes. Right there. Envy trying to set someone up and bring ruin. Look at the background. Devastation. Destruction. Devil to their life. Someone's envious. And they want to ruin someone's life and have them feel left out in the cold. Heavy black magic and hostilities. Unavoidable. Over this empress with a jealous ass that's moving forward victorious. <laughs> ah, this empress said, fuck you, pay me. Empress, chariot, eight of wands, ten of cups, nine of pentacles, and a judgment, and the strength. They can't fuck with this empress. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. This empress is shitting on whoever this is. God damn, that just got me lit. Taurus and Libra energy with the Empress. Ch Cancer with the Chariot. Eight of Wands with the Sagitt Sagittarius with the Eight of Wands. Pisces with the Ten of Cups. Virgo with the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Leo, Scorpio. And then this Empress could also be a speaker for her ancestors. She breaking generational curses. You can't fuck with this Empress. I don't know who reading this is, but y'all just took a peek at it. So, who is devil energy that's upset or left out in the cold? Some of you had to leave a toxic situation behind and made you feel less than. Fuck with your confidence. What's this devil? Queen of Cups. It's a choice between two women. Three of Pentacles. Somebody else they dealing with. That old Lord. Whoever she is, she better stop playing. Child, what? Definitely was a third party. What the fuck? Don't even know how to react. Better stop playing. None of this stuff is working either. She's also intuitive. She's a psychic. Or oh, this you, Queen of Cups. In cahoots with somebody else, projecting over someone's life. Someone misses this Queen of Cups. They're afraid of her because of her psychic gifts. All right. Let's see. What's this? <laughs> What's this devil? Yeah, I'm picking up another deck for y'all. Devil. For Pisces. I knew it. We done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm about to cry. Oh, my God. Oh, I got to trust my gifts. Oh, my God. This bitch going to die. This lady, this devil, is his queen of cups. I knew it. Trying to keep you two apart. Destruction. Oh my fucking God. Oh my goodness. And then we got Joe, good girls. Why are all the good girls taking every time? Somebody think that this lady is, this could, it could be a Scorpio. Someone think that this lady is healthy or Capricorn, okay, with the three of pentacles and the devil, that this lady is pleasant, modest, a good person. She not. She in an upright because it's a facade. Oh, my God. This ain't everybody read. Oh, my goodness. So it could be two women projecting over a hierophant. Over a reader, over a psyche, out of envy and jealousy. For you people that's not doing magic, this could affect you, or it's not your reading. Or someone's trying to run your life and keep you stuck under a spell. For you masculine energy, there's a female energy trying to control you and ruin your life or block you from moving forward to be with somebody else because she don't want to let you go. Death, the relationship is over with. I'm telling you, oh my God, this King of Wands and this Emperor, 
This is someone's twin flame trying to get to this queen of wands and give her a solid offer. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he already done made plans to be with somebody else. But this bitch is, I'm telling you, is trying to stop it. Oh my goodness, it's a soul contract. You can't fuck with that. Child. What's the what, what's this? How this gonna go? It's gonna work out in whoever fucking favor. It's supposed to work out in. It's gonna be success, victory, regardless. Triumph over obstacle. The obstacle is the devil. Whoever it is better stop. This person is also in a public eye. Being highly celebrated. Child, what? It's a third party energy trying to ruin someone's life. Oh my God. What's the two of pentacles? It, I saw the death. Better stop that shit. Two of pentacles. The death can be actual death or your whole life is ruined. Over with. Finished. Stability. Two of pentacles. For Pisces. Falling over the six of wands, seven of wands. Somebody gonna have to stand their ground. Someone's going to spiritual jail or literal jail. Someone hired a defense attorney or whatever this is. Someone projected over someone's life is backfiring. They're going to end up stuck. Will of Fortune is coming back. What you reap, you will sow. What you sow, you will reap. I have it go. Okay, one more for stability. Seven of Cups, two sevens. Warning. Confusion, illusions, projecting over someone's life. Death tried to jump out again, child. Oh my God, this is over with. One more. Heavy Scorpio with the Seven of Cups. A reason to celebrate a reconciliation. Keep going. Fuck this. Two of Pentacles. Chaos. I'm telling you, someone's projecting chaos over someone's life. A wounded warrior causing them to keep fighting. This person is a wounded warrior. They, they refuse to fall. This person keeps fighting. They're going to keep fighting for their shit. What else? What's the chaos in all of this? It say chaos. Stressful choices. Right here. Chaos. Other than somebody trying to break two people up. The Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Someone reads tarot. Stop fucking playing. You see this tower? I'm telling you. This shit about to backfire so motherfucking hard. And somebody about to heal and move forward regardless. Because they chosen with the star. Aquarius energy. Y'all need to watch Aquarius reading. Because Aquarius got the same shit. Oh my God. This Ace of Wands sideways. These spells are no longer working. You are unable to see into someone's life. Page of Pentacles. Someone's refusing to learn lessons and focus on their fucking self. Someone's done having sex with somebody too. Someone keeps trying to do sex, man. Every time they fuck them, they're trying to project over them and keep them stuck and bound. That's not working either. Someone needs to focus on what they want out of life. They're confused about their next move for themselves because they're too busy worried about somebody else. Child, the way this reading is going to end is whoever the fuck doing spell work is coming to a fucking close the world in the fucking tower but let me clarify just disappointments scorpio energy it could be a scorpio or it could be all of them three of cups and the three of pentacles showed up that's in cahoots what's <laughs> what's the world at the bottom of the deck emperor child Someone's divinely protected. This emperor is going where he needs to be. He's going to learn his lesson anyway. This emperor is the one that's being projected over. He the victim. He going to break free and go where he need to be and give equally to where he want to be. I hope this piss you off if you're doing the magic. This emperor is leaving regardless. Vroom, vroom. 